Hey, what's up, guys? Red Shovel, welcome. Hello. Hello. Dude, I just almost ended the show by accident. Oh, dear. Clicked the wrong button and then bam, almost ended the whole thing. Wow. One second. Let me edit your microphone because you're extremely low. Say something, Red? Hello? Yeah, now, now it's a little bit better. Let me actually... A little better now? Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's way better. Let me see my audio. How do you hear me? Is everything okay? You're loud and clear. Oh man, because I'm always getting muted on the on the other streams. <laughs> they always lower my microphone because I just I just I just roll over people. Ah, what a crazy crazy day, Red. Red, I'm gonna need a freaking drink here because what happened to what happened? Dude, I had a scary scary experience today. No, oh, do tell us. Oh my god. I don't even know if I should go over it. Tickers! Tickers! Hey, how are ya? Oh, you we right? got James the show case watches. James, hop on the stream. Come in, James. Come in, mate. How are you, Tim? You all right? Uh, What's up with ya? Listen, man, I'm uh, well, I'm a bit reeling. I had a, I had a, a world-changing kind of experience. Hey, pocket, pocket. You Talk there? What's hello, this world-changing experience then? What happened? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a drink and then I'll tell you. My God, it was stressful. Got Paul yeah. M, one pound seventy nine cents. Can we have a live unboxing of the Filson? Hmm. Paul, are, are you talking about you got the Filson or you want to see the Filson that Red got? Red, do you still have yours? Yeah. Uh huh. Bring it out. Show it to us. And actually, uh, Paul M., of course. Of course you actually, can have a live. Look actually, at this. It's beside me with the new watch that I bought today. So it is. Oh, no. You got a new watch? Well, not new. Well, it's it's pre-owned. Pre new pre-owned. It sort of matches the... Pre-newed. It's pre... <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it's AP, guys. AP. I cannot believe it. James says he cannot hop on without his wrench and not. Sure, we can give James a wrench. We actually don't have any moderators to begin with. So let's give James the showcase. He's one of the Academy Award nominated writers of the last season of the Game right. of Watches. Uh, so I would love. Tim, to how, have... did, how did it go with Archie last night? Did he get bent over? Were you all right? No, 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 no. It was uh, it was very You're exciting. Right. I think people people were. Uh, you know, they loved it, I think. Some people loved it. Some people, I think, hated it. Some people took it a little bit too close to heart. But you know how it is. It's, uh, well, did, it's did, watches. Did, did, so let's, did, um, did Archie give... Um, did, did Archie give... Um, what's his face? A grilling. Scirocco. Scirocco didn't show up. Scirocco... Oh, fucking hell. That's like so... Yeah, I think that yes. guy is a little bit Cause, scared of because the fucking Archie would have Archie would have chatted him a fucking you one, would he? Fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, Fuck's sake. unfortunately. How much how much red? How much to do this unboxing? What's uh how much do we have to pay to, to for you to do this unboxing? Oh you decide. You decide. Yeah, we'll you get it. the fucking money you get the money, Tim, for fuck's sake. No. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Don't make <laughs> don't make fucking red feel better, but he picks them. By out. the way, tickers, your camera is not working. You're just sitting yeah, yeah. and <laughs> looking to yeah. the side and pay at least twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. It's an AP for for Christ's sake, right? Twenty five bucks. Ooh, twenty five. Well, I don't think it, the, the the super chats don't even work that way. <laughs> They're like they go from twenty to fifty, and unless you're on the computer, then you can add custom amounts. It, it's uh, weird. But I got a story. I, I got a story to tell you guys. It really, it depressed the fuck out of me. You know what I mean? It was. <sighs> I gotta tell you, I'm a different, different guy. I came home today. Everything behind me, everything's for sale. It's uh, Ooh. yeah, oh, I know, really? I know. Yeah, yeah. It, that's how. That's how world. World changing the experience. Wow, what's going was. on? What the fuck's going on? Talk to us. I'll tell you. I'll tell you in a second. I need a drink though. It was okay, bad. I took my fucking camera out for fuck's sake. Yeah, what's get your on? camera ready. We got Thomas G in the in the show. GB Vool, welcome. What? 
Outside is hot. It's I almost died. I almost had a heat stroke or something. What snowy last fucking week? What the fuck? I know, and now it's. I, I'm awesome. telling you, I, I wore my yeah. two normal jackets yesterday. I was cold, and today I uh, heat stroke. It, it, it maybe Jeez. it was also claustrophobia, a bit of claustrophobia. I visited yeah. basically. I visited one of my friends' father's homes. He called me. There's an emergency. You know that guy. Now remember, I was supposed to go to Florida, right? Remember tickers? Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, yeah. He was moving to Fort Lauderdale, so this guy wow. was leaving everything behind. Because there's this thing happened. I went to visit his house, and mm. my God, it freaked me out, man. It freaked me out. GB Vool, welcome to the show. Kindred Spirit, welcome. Speedy Hernandez, the North Folk Watch guy. Tim Wright, what is harmless but can kill you? What was the answer for this riddle? Riddle me this. Red Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Good guess. Nothing? No, that was the answer for the yesterday's ri riddle. Oh, riddle. What the fuck? I thought you just regurgitating it because you have no content. Oh, no. Right. Stay there. I'm just going to reboot everything, right? Back in a minute. Reboot. Put, reboot. put more Let coal, in. Put more in coal the into the router. Yeah. Rebooting. Fuck off. I'm rebooting. Bye. This, yeah. this computer's been on all fucking day. It doesn't even get rebooted. It's been on all day. Yeah. So it's, fucking, <laughs> it's been on all night as well. Fuck I never reboot it. Bye. <laughs> Uh, right. Kindred Spirit says Taco Bell. Is it Taco Bell? I don't. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, Taco Bell is not harmless. It is straight up poison. It, it's worse for you than heroin. I need to cut out Tim if I don't get. Okay, okay, we got that right. Yeah, these script writers, they're vicious. They're coming after me. It's going to get brutal. Yes, I am back. Oh, Rene de la Pont is back as a member powerhouse tim wright is our ambassador Rene, thank you so much for becoming a member again re-subscribe bikers re-subscribe the wizard damn give me what's up buddy up there hey i see your camera is still not working yeah Fuck man after your stream maybe you help me put it back on again yeah 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 well you're the only that. one that fixes it right yeah <laughs> i am the it i'm it specialist even though i you're never the community in face of the community, the community it of the community the it of, of the community yeah 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 by the way wizard you know that i'm the one who set up all of these rebel streams i yes. literally yes I, i'm the reason we have all these problems. By the way, I don't know if you recall, but you were the first one that said, I'm going to do a 24-hour stream. I did. I did. I know. I, I remember it very well. I was on the stream that day. <laughs> yeah. And now, who's this guy, Lord? Lord? Well, I think he's like son of Satan. Uh, what? What did you say? Starbucks? What about Starbucks? Oh, you want me to order caramel brulee? Okay. Caramel brulee for the wife. One second. I have to order caramel brulee for the wife. She's going to, to work. I'm going to make an order so she can pick it up at the Starbucks. Just a second, guys. We have a fucking crazy super chat from my man SE. 50 euros, 25 for the AP and 25 for a huge gulp. Timmy, let's see <laughs> that piece. Red cheers. Thank you so much, SE, for powering tonight's live stream. Just a second. I'm gonna order this guys. Actually, oh, let's uh let's put full screen, full screen on red. Hopefully, your camera gonna be working out as soon as he mm. oh my god, as soon as he raised it, it goes potato mode. Red oh, red, fix the cable, fix the cable, mate. No oh, second. Shit. How did that? How? What? Like? What are the odds? Yeah, wizard, wizard. You're right, right? Like I set up IIT. I set up JJ, Marco. Uh, I set up T and Tickers. T and Tickers. By the way, next season T and Tickers will be the the what's it called? The enemy, the public enemy number one. That's coming. I, everyone, what? I see well, 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 well. problems. Back the fucking truck. Who's going to be at public enemy number one? By this, you. Don't worry about it. It's in the script. No, I am worried about it. No, you don't want to be about. public enemy number one tickers, but you make for a p perfect enemy. What, from you? 
From you, you mean? For, for everyone, for everyone. Hey, oh, mate, oh, we'll fucking hell bring it it's on. It's all fikers. in the script. It's all in the script, man. Fucking bring it on, fikers. I'm fucking upsetting <laughs> nobody. I said from day one, I come on your stream. Yeah. I then start on my own stream, and I put my own stream on before yours. I don't rebel stream Archer, and I don't rebel stream you. Well, don't worry, I'll, I'll write it. Fucking... The... Don't yeah, worry, I'll put into the script the rebel streams. It's gonna yeah, but start I won't be slowly. doing. I won't be doing a rebel stream on you, and I won't be doing a rebel stream on Archie. So well, there maybe, you go. maybe you know what? Maybe what? Tickers is going to be one, the one and only loyal character in this whole cast. It could well, be a go. unique phenomena. Mm -hmm. A unique phenomena. Speedy Hernandez, five months super chat message to my fellow scriptwriters. It's time for us to unionize. Tim and the other fat cats are getting rich of our labor. Watch Hello, the world. Just unite. in case, just in case you fuckers didn't know where have you been for a few days. I've got a new watch. I just thought I'd let you fuckers know. Just let you fuckers know. Just in case you hadn't seen it. There you go. Look there at you that. go. In your face, it changed. But but the way, by the face. way, tickers. The more watches the person gets, the more corrupted their soul becomes. Is that right? <laughs> oh, yeah. let's see. Well, now, Red, we have to do this unboxing. Your camera is now working. Let's. Is it working now? It's working nice now. Story. But don't make too any. Do not make any sudden moves. Here we mm. go. Beautiful <laughs> wooden box. Oh my god! Hold on. Be careful! Don't drop it. Oh, is that a Montoya? No. No. Just a. And his audio goes to. Ooh. Wow. Now that's a beautiful combo. You know, that's my favorite uh, yeah. type of uh, Royal Oak offshore with that ceramic bezel because those ceramic bezels aren't scratchable. And what happens to most of those steel ones is they get scrap scratched to shite. And they kind of look ugly, but this so this cream, so cream dial, ceramic, so ceramic dial. scratchable, and wow, steel case. My my favorite sort of combination there. I don't like the titanium ones; they're too light. Like yeah. a good chunky watch. Bring it closer to the left. To the there yeah. you go. Oh, there's focus. You can bring it even wow. closer. Even closer, even close, really get in there. Yes, look at this ticker. Now that's a functioning camera. It is, yeah, wow. so, so's that, mate. So the fuck is that? That camera yes. was 40 quid just. How much did you pay for, for this beauty? And where did you buy it from? I bought it locally at a jeweler's in Belfast. They've had mm -hmm. it for sale for quite some time. Um, it was 20,000. 20 that's oh. it yeah mm -hmm. oh, wait, 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 wait. it's pounds it's not you yeah dollars. pounds pounds okay so that's like 25 english pounds as um I guess would say. but so now you have a, a chronograph and a diver uh, two i've got PS, yeah. two no, divers three, deal deal. no i've got three um aps now so i've got the new 43 one that i don't really wear and this Ooh. one, which is the one that I really wanted, and then also the black diver that I got from Spencer. Oh, I, fuck me, man! Are you are you gun running or something? How the fuck are you on twenty grand to fucking drop on a watch, man? Well, he's a business. He's a dead. business owner. Fucking business, business owner. owner. Fucking business owner. Business owner. Fight. Why are you running? Why you got a lot of broads fucking lined up? You fucking hire them out or something, do you? Nah, I wish. I wish. <laughs> He's a professional. <laughs> only only FXD owners do that, tickers. Red, <laughs> Red, Red is it coincidence yeah. that you're you have a plumbing company and my toilet goes to shade? Shite. It explodes. <laughs> yeah. I had a toilet fiasco. Okay. And tickers is my, kidney, my, my kidney went my kidney went on eBay last night for this fucker to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fucking got a knife and I cut the fucker out myself. There they are. Look at that. I used that and cut my kidney out myself. And then use gaffer tape to stick it all together. There you go. <laughs> and then put the oh, congratulations, away. Red Shovel, mate. Nice one. Well yeah. done, Thank well you, Paul. Well done, Shove. Nice one, Shove. Yeah. That's me I'm completely no money, money left. left the show. No money left now whatsoever for now. <laughs> for now. Until <laughs> <For now. laughs> yeah. the next AP comes along. <laughs> Until you shove your hand down someone's U-bend again and fucking get some more money.
Uh, all money gone. <laughs> I tell you what, Tim needs his toilet fixed and Tickers needs his boiler done. So maybe you get maybe you know, make you some go. money back from those two. There, yeah. There you yeah. go. That oh. would be a big collar charge. That to Tim, anyway. So. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, yeah. You need twenty thousand pounds, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Travel one time there with him. Oh man. Listen, Red, congratulations. That is a one fucking beautiful watch. Yeah, I the, like this one. This is the beast need is it open case back or this one uh, it's has open case one? back? It's, it's open, open? Back. yeah, it's open this one. Let me see. Let me see if I can get a Closer. Wow. wow. In it's hard to if you cover your face, it'll zoom into the thing. Mm, <laughs> my lady. No, no, no. As in with the not as in your, cover your face. <laughs> no, 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 with a watch covers your face, not your hand. <laughs> 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 oh, cover the, your face with look, the watch in the camera. He meant, <laughs> he meant look, <laughs> red. <laughs> you, meant you go like this, you cover uh, the, the watch. No, not like, don't go. <laughs> Is that what he, I fucking missed that. Is that what he did? Yeah. Fuck me, Dad. <laughs> 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 I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going. <laughs> oh my god. Wizard, oh, this is it. ridiculous. I've got this a new by the way, I've got a new I've got a new watch to show you which I'm which I'm uh, oh. borrowed, Tim. Sure. Okay. sure. Have a look. Put me full screen. Oh. Oh, night wrist watch me one second. What's uh what's Sorry. there? Sub no date. No, there the is my face. Beautiful, covering your face. This is how you guys do it. You see, just just so that everybody knows. Yeah. This is how you cover your face. Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, put me full, put me full screen, Tim. All right, let's see I can't it. See I can't let's see, see the watch. Face. That's I the way. This is the way. Oh, full screen. Sorry, I couldn't see. I'm my fingers in my face. <laughs> Fuck me. Wonder, wonder how that happened. Fuck me, Dad. Here we go. Ready? Oh, this is go. the new watch. Oh. oh this is a pam it's upside down Panerai, nice it is upside down <laughs> uh, uh, Panerai, it's well done. Wrong, there you go yeah Whoa. is that the same one as you is that the same one as you've got so, no back. no this is a chronograph version uh but it, it is submersible yeah, this is the hold on, this is the chronograph version hence the uh the two buttons there and it's a submersible it's uh, a flyback fly chrono which is the best Chrono it's a chronograph submersible Beautiful. Is it? Does That's it have a flyback movement? Yeah, uh, I'm not testing it's it yet. On the, it the third line, Tim says flyback. I tell you what, I, do, I tell you what I do like about it is when you pull the crown out, it zeroes the second hand automatically, right? Just whatever. You don't have to hack when you hack it. You don't have to guess where twelve o'clock is. As soon as you pull the oh. crown out, it sends the second hand, stops it, but sends it to zero. Whoa, that's. Never seen that happen on a watch before. That is pretty cool. Yeah, that's it's an a heavy motherfucker. Yeah. Tell you what, having the because having the FXD on me watch for five yeah. days, which is really light. This yeah. fucker would break your face if you hit with it. Tell you. <laughs> that's what they actually okay. they kind of look very similar, the same kind of genre. Yeah, but... and then of course... and it's screw down, right? The pushers they're screw down. Correct? Oh, the pushers screw down. Yeah, and it's got that big. Yeah, absolutely. That's from BQ Watches, by the way. BQ Watches, the best place in England to buy and sell watches. BQ Watches, mate. Go for it. Okay. Right, well, we have, we have a new... Uh, there's a new BQ rule. Uh, tickers. Go on. You, can new only say, you can only say BQ Watches one time because I'm, I'm a, I am exclusively sponsored by, uh, the, by the, David SW. David, so. Yeah, but they ain't going to come with David, David SW from England. They're not going to go to BQ I know. from America. So there we go. We're There's a non-compete. Non not non -compete, full, But they're just as good. Again. Tim, Tim, full screen again, please. Full I can't screen. see. I can't see. <laughs> oh, oh, you done it. Right, okay, go on. There you go. <laughs> you're supposed to oh, wave it the, the Aqua Terra. The right way around. Yeah, Aqua Terra. That's what making sure it's the right way around. Look at that. Yeah. So right what do you think about, what do you think about this one? We're on the rubber I like it. Strap. I really like, like it. it. Beautiful. Yeah, I really like it. Because it's coming a... It's coming a really nice rubber bracelet with a with a deployant. So sort of the weave right. sort of yeah pattern. Yeah, mm -hmm. love it all. Oh, basket yeah. weave, yeah. basket weave pattern. Mm. Really like it. Really nice. I like it a lot. Wow. Yeah. I like love the Aquaterras. 
Really nice. Now, yeah, I like that a lot. So because do, do you by any chance have like a loop and do you do you check the dial, you know, to make sure that uh, you know, seconds hand is aligned and everything? Yeah, yeah. Cuz with these amigas yeah. <laughs> yeah, make sure. Yeah, it's all good. It's not one of your dodgy fuckers. Yeah, it's fine. Actually, check your yeah. flyback chronograph, the check the pam for the make see if the seconds hand is, you know, the count counter whatever you call it hand is at 12. You know what? <laughs> Fuck me, dead. I'm looking now. Uh huh. And uh -oh. The second, the second hand on the three o'clock, um, the three o'clock dial is not centered. Uh oh. Is it like these dick or is hang it on like minute, a second? On, How hang much? On a hang on a minute. Uh oh. Very strange. Hang on. Uh oh, see, this is this is why uh, everybody kind of says that Rolex's, you know, know, claim to fame is a bit overrated and uh, and it's not deserved. But it's these little details that are un unseen to naked eye. That also, by the way, red, red. Yeah. Can you check? Can you please check the AP if the second hand is aligned? That's correct. sorry. No, it's all right. I've got it sorted. Like, was it? it Kind of stopped. Thought wound it up. Uh -oh. It's all right. It's always done. How many, how many wines are you supposed to do these buggers? I thought it wound it up a yeah. bit when I got it. I don't know. It starts making a noise. Uh, Met H. Uh, well done. Red that shovel. Is. Better watches in the safe than cash in the bank. That is really true. true. Very, Very true. good point. If you yeah, wait, looks, have looks perfectly aligned. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see him? Looks mm -hmm. perfect. James, the advisor, asking Red why he has kids' toys on the shelf. Those kids' toys are probably worth an absolute fucking fucking fortune if you buy right. My toys? Okay. This is, this is, all, the, this is all the red shovels. Um, oh. Red, red fives. This is all <laughs> Hell red, yeah. Red five <laughs> Star Wars stuff. That's awesome. They're probably no, worth a fucking fortune. Stuff. This is all stuff that me and my son have built. And my wee boy have built. So Whoa. he's built all of them. And I just put them up there in the study there, there. there. You guys were building it together? Yeah, uh huh. Wow. There's, there's loads of I, there's loads of there's, there's even more. Hold on, I'm trying to move the camera up. See, there's, early see, there's early Star Wars stuff. Oh my dude. whoa, one second, one second. Wow, oh my god, look at those amazing. Look at them, uh, yeah. fighters and everything. The biker scout helmet and the uh, the tie How old is your son? Awesome. He's eight. He's eight wow. now. Yep. Wow. Uh -huh. But you know, got, the, like, there's loads more. <laughs> you know, doing Legos like that, that's a great, uh, uh, it's great practice for, you know, Dexterity. you're working with little finite details. It's great practice, yeah. you know, for, for that micro uh, endurance. David H., Nice Omega. René de la Ponce, tickets. I offer 1,500 Dutch smackaroonies for the Pam. <laughs> i got to tell you, I had no offers. Uh, well, I wasn't actually it's, heavily well, advertising. Mine, it's it's worth a fake more than that. It's about nine and a half fucking grand, I think that fucker is. Whew. I'm sure it is. Let's have a look. How much is exactly? 9,000. Uh, yeah, 9,950 quid. Pocket Watch, I'm a busy guy. Two hours of streaming put to good use. It's actually, you know, uh, Pocket is a great, great inspiration for us all to keep hitting the gym. I'm going to the gym tomorrow again. I'm, uh, I'm trying to go every other day, and then I'm going to start wow. hitting it every day. Uh, light Bass, stickers breaking Spencer's watches. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, young Young Kim rocking a Rolex Oyster Perpetual 39 white dial today. Wizard, are you there or what's going on? Yeah, hello, Wiz. Wiz, 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 Wiz. is awful quiet. Maybe he's making a deal. He's on mute. Love. Man, those Legos are incredible. I, uh, no, my family could never afford the like the big sets. So I had some like smaller ones before, but man, that stuff is okay. So awesome. you, 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 mm. so what do you mean? You, your parents buy you a cloche of coffee instead of a fucking Lego set? You know <laughs> yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you see the, well, you the know, I saw the Millennium Falcon one. It was it's seven hundred pounds. I was looking at them the other day. 
that is seven hundred yeah. pounds. Yeah, man. Wow. And those are actually they go over retail. Much. Yeah. I don't think that's even for sale. Are you a Star Wars I mean, geek, man? Tom, are you Star Wars? I, love, I do. Wars? I love Star Wars. I haven't got all the yeah. toys, but I love the movies. Yeah, I've got I all the movies. Star, I, love stuff, the movie. yeah. I love the movies. I've well. seen yeah, I Mandalorian. Just seen the end of that one. I mean, the it Boba Fett, Book of Boba Fett. That was. Boba Fett. Oh, okay. God. Oh, God. He surprised the fuck out of me, Boba Fett. I didn't know much about him. And then when the, that last film, when he, he was starring in it, it's like, wow. Mm. This guy's a bit handy. Did you guys yeah. watch. I, uh, I, I got two the... episodes left. No spoiler alerts, please. Okay. I saw the last one yesterday. Oh, wow. I still, no, haven't watched it. I still no, haven't watched you... it. I haven't yeah, had what... the time. I was too busy writing the scripts, guys. The scripts don't you write saw... themselves. So what I thought you were going to say, I you were gonna say so... you're too busy drinking. But you just put them so... Yeah, listen. I, I tell you what. I had a, a scary, scary experience today, guys. Go on, tell us. Uh, well, I'm going to get this good. drink. Cheers to SE for, for sponsoring this drink. Mm. Cheers, SE. For, thanks for giving Timmy a drink. He's been waiting for, since yesterday for that. Yeah, <laughs> man. Oh, this is a vicious, vicious stuff. It's like rye. I don't think you're supposed to just drink this stuff straight. But so Tim gets to his story. What did he say you saw yesterday? Um, but it was today. Uh, it was today. Right. No, so Night today. Rich, no, no, Night Rich ones. You said he watched something yesterday with a Bond film of it. No, no, Bond no. The film, book right? of Boba Fett, the one we were talking about. Oh, right. Okay, right. Oh, so Disney Sorry, right. Oh. Yeah. Go it was on, just a finale on, yesterday. What were you saying? Well, I was just gonna tell you guys. I uh, <clears throat> uh, I remember that that gentleman. He's moving actually right now to Fort Lauderdale. Oh yeah. Right. He's a, a friend of mine. Father. He's like fucking. I don't know. Sixty, maybe seventy, into his seventies. Man, no, actually, you know what? <gasps> he was born in thirty nine. So how old is he? If he was born in thirty nine. Does that make him? Quickly, quickly, do some math, guys. No, I'm still trying to figure out which month comes after March. 83. <laughs> 83. He's 83. All right, so his house was a bit on fire, right? The basement a was bit, on fire. A bit, a bit on fire. Well, the folks are yeah. on fire. What we did. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was a more, more smoke than fire, but the firemen came in, and they can basically demolished the whole place, right? Uh, like the walls, everything is open. All the walls, you can see all the pipes are. So he would he he asked me to go help him uh, a little bit. Well, you know, pick up a few things from his house and put them in the car because he's gonna be leaving like like next two days. Uh, he's right. gonna be leaving for Fort Lauderdale. And I'm like, my God! I mean, this is Mathis is there, so th he's saying like, yeah, you can come visit us. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna go visit because I'm gonna go stop by Mathis. You know, we'll. We'll go hang out with 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 the with the friends of the community over there. But anyways, I was there at his at the house, right? My God, not only was the house demolished, but I mean he had so much shit, you know, so much like things, right? And after that 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 damage, I was like, man, it's not even worth repairing. Like, like I felt like going getting a, a can, gas can putting some gasoline and just fucking setting the, the whole thing on fire. Like, that's how depressing it looked, you know? Like, and all the stuff, like, the old TVs, all the fucking cassette tapes and little figurines and all the stuff is just, you know, nobody's going to give a shit about it anymore. I was like, man, they're going to demolish this whole thing. And I don't fucking want to end up like that with, uh, w you know, with the, with the home full of things that, that nobody gives a fuck about. It was so, uh, it was so freaking depressing to look at him. I mean, the whole house is filled with with things, and it's like nothing is worth anything. It's all everything is like, and I'm feeling like I'm looking at my house. I mean, I don't have you know half the the, the stuff, but like, <laughs> have you read what the roommate it. said, Tim? Yeah, what the roommate's he said. little comment on that. Yeah, all <laughs> trash in his place. Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. Talking about your room, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's like, and I'm telling you, you got it's not even a, a quarter, it's not even a third, it's, it's not even ten percent of what he had, and I was like, wow. it depressed me so much. I was like, man, I need to get rid of because, like, like all this shit that maybe I care about it for now, but like over time you forget. Like, why did they even have this this stuff? So, oh my God, it gave me such a headache. I I, I came home. <clears throat> 
Luckily, one of my things on eBay sold, which is some magazines. So I went to the post office and I dropped it off. And I'm like, man, I need to get rid of this fucking things. All, all I want is just a couple of nice timepieces. And that's it. And this, I just, I just, I just, I'm so disillusioned. Look, Black Sky Dweller, throw out the trash. Guys, it's such a, made me so sad. Oh my God. I was like, fuck me, dad. What the hell? That's why I put that riddle. The riddle, remember the riddle at the end? What is harmless mm. but can kill you? It's time, guys. It's time. The time is after us. Stop hoarding. You know this whole hoard and possess. Fuck hoard and possess. Get rid of. Simplify. Give things away. Give things to, <clears throat> you know. Simplify. We accept watches. Keep watching. <laughs> okay. I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying yeah. I was going to say with that caveat, yeah. drop me a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop, this is a caveat. There's one caveat. If there's I'll one the caveat, Amiga. guys. I'll take the fucking Amiga off you. You're going to give it away. Yeah. <laughs> Keep the fucking watches. Yeah, yeah. Because you know what? This is why I fucking love watches. Because you go back, and if you got the right watches, you got the good stuff, it will always be desirable. Like, I was in that house, right? And nothing there. It was just like, it would be easier to just fucking set it on fire and, and let it burn. It'll be cheaper than, than trying to salvage it. It was just like, <laughs> it made me really depressed. It made me really fucking depressed, guys. It's tough. Life's tough. Don't hoard and possess. Simplify. If you don't use it for like six months, get rid of it. I think this is this is the thing. This is what I'm gonna start fucking doing. If I'm not using something for more than like three to six months, I'm 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 going fucking minimalist. This is breaking news, guys. Tim Wright. Breaking news. <laughs> we need the ticker tape going across the bottom of the screen with the Tim Wright going downsizing. I'm downsizing. I'm getting rid of everything from my house. I'm only keeping stuff related to YouTube, basically the computer. I think I'm even getting rid of these fucking pens. What the hell do I do? I need <laughs> do I need these luxury pens? What the fuck am I gonna yeah. do with them? So Tim, what's the date on the calendar? I can uh, mark this down so we can ask you what your minimalist state is. Yeah, yeah, it's starting fucking today. Cause cause this is the kind of this is the kind of feeling you grab by the balls. <laughs> And uh, and you and you go forward with it, you know. If you sleep, if you sleep on this, uh, then uh, what's gonna happen is just I'm 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 gonna forget the emotional impact that this experience had on me today. I have to do it now. So after you know after this uh, this li uh, live stream, I'm gonna try to put uh, put some more shit on stuff that I can sell. But it, because I have some like games and shit, and I'm thinking like, oh oh, I'm gonna play these later. No, I won't. No, I won't. The only thing that we kind of need in life is just simple, simple thing here or, or there. And that's why when I was over at your place, you give me shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Get rid of your other cups and just keep that one. <laughs> that was actually a gift to Tim. But yeah. Just to you. <laughs> Obviously that's why this it. part of the reason they gave it away. So that's a good start, right? That's the yeah. start. It was your first step. Yeah. yeah. The journey first of a thousand step. miles begins with one step, with one cup. With the thing, it starts <laughs> with the first mug that you give away. And you do it piece by piece. T uh, showcase watches. Tim, don't be stealing my shtick and becoming a minimalist three-piece and done. One in the safe, mm -hmm. one on the winder, and <laughs> one on the width. I think... I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep my watches. I'm definitely have to put some of my Viking watches in. The, I'm gonna get one of those safety deposit boxes at the at the Viking uh, <clears throat> bank. Now that you know that robbery happened in Brooklyn, I think yeah. I don't think that's gonna be expensive, right? A, a safety deposit. It won't be too expensive. You might have to insure the box, though. I don't know in here that some. Of the oh, boxes maybe it could, could be more dangerous. To the... your box. No, 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 no. It's just in case the bank gets robbed. It will be safer in the bank. It's always going to be safer in the bank. Hmm. Or just insure your watches, and if you lose them, oh, I don't think you can yeah. replace those ones you have. But um... Georgia, the chef, uh, I'll buy the Mont Blanc for twenty dollars. <laughs> 
P. Tilly. <laughs> Guys, uh, if you're watching and joining the live stream, please hit the upload button. I would really appreciate it. Yes, he wrote his will yet. Oh, Kevin, all the Alex is I own 21 <laughs> guitars. Does that make me a hoarder? Can you double you? Tickers, how many guitars do you have? Oh, funny, I've got the same as Kenny, 21. Oh, that's a coincidence. That is a yeah. Funny coincidence. Yeah. Do you coincidence? consider yourself oh, a hoarder? Uh, no, we don't because I play them all. They all get played in rotation. How, mm. Guys, let's do let's do a poll. If you consider yourself, oh, let's do a poll. And and if you consider yourself, let's see, do you consider yourself a hoarder? Uh, let's do a poll. Let's see how many out of 140 people. Guys, do you consider yourself a hoarder? Please, the poll is live. Make sure to vote and uh, and uh, hit the upvote while you're there. Maldives Tim will art him sell the Pepsi if the Aquanaut is available tomorrow at the AD. The hardest question I've ever heard in my fucking life. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. I might. I might have to. Probably no choice, right? Because it's a it's like somebody oh, man. I feel like Maldives is right now has me in the in the headlock. That's such a hard question. I don't want to answer. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I might panic. I would I probably would have to do it. Probably no choice. But I would fucking hate myself. I mean the Pepsi, if I sell the Pepsi, I can never get that back, right? No. They're just going up. They're going up and up as well in price. Every day, the Rolex is Ooh. going mental at the moment. The prices are just—you check one, and it's just gone up in a space of a day. Sometimes some of the hot models. I like how my roommate says she has a savings account behind my back. This is the first time I hear of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the first time I hear. That the, it's a get been... out plan, mate. It's a savings a get out plan. When you go down yeah. the shit, you yeah. can just check out. The, yeah, you go and stay with is, Mike the Snake. She'll yeah, she'll have money to <laughs> look after herself. <laughs> tell you, this 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 whiskey is so vicious. Fuck me, dead. It's like drinking gasoline. Oh, sis, oh sis, what is that? Are those gummies? Out. Jelly beans. Sweets. You work out so you can eat jelly beans. Are those real mm -hmm. jelly beans? Oh, special uh, life, energizing man. jelly beans. Wow. SE, I'll take your sneakers. The colorful ones got 11.5 US size. Hope they fit. No chance. I'm 10. <laughs> but maybe I you know what I think. On, I don't actually really like them that much. They actually so big. They are a bit of a. How much did it cost? Yeah, fucking 150 quid or somewhere. How much, how no, 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 100, 100. They were on sale. I got them when. Nobody would fucking quid. buy them again, fuck except me lunatics dead, like me. Quid. Lunatic, 100 quid. <laughs> fuck me, dad. My speedy world. Do you like the speedy final away from the Rolex hype? I'll tell you what. I uh, I appreciate Rolex even more now. Like, no, I love my Omega. But now I understand what why Rolex is so hype. It's the little thing here or there. The little details, like straightening the fucking hands, that's not really little, is it? That's shite, that, man. The hand, and also, the bracelet, it pulls the hair. Is that's it a bad bracelet, is it? Hmm? Is that a bad bracelet? Because I remember Oshin was saying that that's a bad bracelet in one of his well, videos. Well, it's a wonderful bracelet. Like, it is... Um, I just don't know why, but it pulls hair. When when you take it on and take it off, it uh, it pulls on the hair. So you, you feel so it pinch you. Compared to the Jubilee bracelet, is it? Yeah. Is it? Oh, that's no, no. It's, pull hair as well. Is it the same sort of thing? No, no, no. Jubilee, ne the Jubilee never pulls hair. Okay. Oh, it does. Okay. Fair enough. I've not, I've never, I don't own one with the Jubilee, so I don't know. But I yeah, did hear no, no. someone saying that. And also, mm -hmm. like, these links, right, on the side, they're very sharp. You know, like, it's like, a, hmm. It's like one side. Okay, so the links over here on the side, if you if you if you oh, run really? your finger up like that, they're very sharp. 
You can feel. Okay. You can feel sharpness here. Yeah, and you, they, didn't put your hand, you didn't put your hand over your face, Tim. That's why I didn't focus as quickly. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, Dad. <laughs> Renée de la Pons, two years. Tim hire a female for the workout. Mm, this is the kind of workout I can get into. <laughs> if you get what I mean. L, <laughs> there are degrees of... By the way, Al, I fucking love your setup because I like you look here. We got fucking right there, th four hoarders sitting. Me, uh, red shovel. Then you look at uh, night wrist watchman and uh, and tickers. This is you look at the background, fucking hoarder. One, two, three, four. Hoarders. Right. So what does night wrist? What what are, you, what are you hold, Pam? What are you holding? Everything. I, I was looking at my bookcase to be honest with you, but um. I do hoard. This, this isn't a, a classic. Uh, any books, DVDs. Just yeah, basically. I hoard DVDs. Yeah. I need to fuck off with DVDs. No, I can just stream them now. So I need to get rid of DVDs and stuff. You think, oh, should I really? Yeah, yeah I know. Books, Bad news, DVDs, and boxes. Just boxes everywhere. I mean, I've got the box set, the Bond box set, and Blu-ray, and I wouldn't want to get rid of that. He looks so good. A fucking, you know. They look great on Blu-ray. You don't want to just get rid of them. No, you don't want to get rid of them. I've got the whole Bond collection as well. I don't want to get yeah, rid of Bond that. Yeah, Bond collection, Blu-ray in the box. It looks fucking great, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, I do. Yeah, I mean, exactly. that, I don't know. Shovel, do you hoard? Are you a hoarder? Okay. Mm, a few things. No, no, no. Let's, look, let's look behind him. <laughs> but those are, like, those are like, a lot of creed you got. I mean, it's a lot of creed you've got there, yeah. Yeah. That's a homage to Tim just now. Uh, well, wow. red, red. Can you put the yeah. cup on uh, on the other shelf so that it's always visible? They're above the fragrances. Let me above see the here. Here. No, no, no. Well, you see where the fragrance at? Where above the the green above Irish the tweed. Above, above green above. Irish tweed. Mm -hmm. Right there. Let me see. Over there. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Okay, okay Tim, you. where's my cheese checkers cup? Did you put that fucking visible? I can't see that. I'm it's right that. there. What you talking about? Can't read the fucker. You need to read <laughs> but mine's out of focus, anyways. The white it's fucking cup. My, my camera makes it out of focus. Well, you're there. I have tea and tickers right. By the way, I'll, <laughs> I'll get you a Maldives cup as well, so you can have it in your. Oh, Everyone, you. and also for the night wrist watchman, I'm gonna have to. Fuck me, Dad. Let me just write it down because I will forget. I'm gonna order like four of these fuckers. Let's see, all the panel members have to have their own. One second, here we go. Well, I like Moldy. It's, it's not exactly um anything to do with you, though, is it? I like Moldy. It has everything to do with me. How it's does that everything? Equate to tea, everything. How does that equate to tea, Tim Wright? Let's it's so I like deep. I don't even. It, it, you know, it's if I try to explain, fridge, isn't it? It's the huh? Archie fridge. He had, he had, he had this. Yeah, I love Maldives. Don't worry, I mean, uh, postcard or something. Yeah, up for years. Yeah. yeah, if I if I it's an inside the type of type of thing. If I try to explain it to you, it will just run right over your head. You will not understand what the hell is Tim talking about. Why is it not? You know, just yeah. you'll see it in Best if time. you don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's what I, what I call. You know how a, a foreshadowing. You know the foreshadowing. No. You know what a foreshadowing is in the story. No. Wow. No. Yes. <laughs> Pocket, tell them okay. what a foreshadow okay, no, tell is. Us. Okay, yeah. uh, it's a sneak peek of what's going to happen <laughs> when they accidentally uh, show a car crash happening sort of irrelevantly at the beginning of the movie. And then guess what? The main character is going to get into a car crash and everything you saw previously oh, will happen to them. Okay. So I'll give you like a really good example of foreshadowing. Like when the movie starts, there will be like a character and he's like holding a gun and he puts it in the drawer or something. And now in in, in the beginning of the movie, it will make no sense. Like, oh, I mean, well, it'd just be like a cool scene. You just put a gun there. But then at the end, there will be a scene which is a big fight. And what saves his life? Oh, he had the gun in the, the drawer the that time. whole time. So it's so a how's that relevant to what we're seeing? Because in the movie, it, it it's whatever, everything that's put out, everything matters, right? In the movie, you don't want to have all these unnecessary things. If you're going to show something, it has to have some kind of relevance to the plot. Otherwise, why the fuck are you even showing it in the first place? 
<laughs> so that's just that's a little bit of uh right that's a foreshadow the call's gonna come there's gonna be a yeah. important call later on in the stream exactly so it's uh it's gonna matter you guys don't have to worry about it for now but nobody's gonna, gonna but, but i'll just tell you this sense. nobody's gonna get killed with that mug <laughs> <laughs> Red Shovel is not gonna be in the fight with burglars, and then you use the mug to smash the one of the burglars over the head. That's what saved the day. That's ain't what's gonna happen, but hey, you never know. You never know. JDG, never know. I oh, JDG says he owns five thousand books, but that's only twenty percent the size of the Stalin's personal library. I've got about five hundred. I've got about five five hundred vinyl records. That takes a bit of fucking space. Whoa! Tickers, but they sound great. Insane. I ain't getting them for digital. I ain't swapping them out for digital. digital Can we see your 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 favorite uh, vinyl? The favorite of five hundred. Mm. Wow. Mm. Al makes a really good point. Mix right. Let me with just bitters. go and have a. Let me just go and have a poke through and see. See, have a look through. Spare mm -hmm. with us a second. I'm trying to think. Mm, okay. Just bear with Al, I don't have any bitters and no syrup. You know, you, this is like I, I would I would need a, a small uh, a cocktail bar or some, something like that. Speedy Tim, it pulls the hair because it's meant to be worn in zero gravity. Duh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ronnie Paul, congrats Tim on getting a profile video on watch nicholas youtube channel it's hilarious what what is that hold on a profile video what are you talking about watch nicholas do you want his channel or something i don't know uh which one are you talking about Watch Nicholas, he makes these, uh, which one, if I can get a, a reference. I know this guy, he, he just, he just endlessly makes videos about the timepiece gentleman. <laughs> if I could get, move on, uh, move on to you now, maybe. You're yeah. Which, what, which video is it? it? What's the title? I, w I would love to, to see it. That's hilarious. Seamaster's yeah. bracelet doesn't pull hair. That's good to know. And also, I'll tell you this: the the plot prop doesn't pull. Tim, shave, t shave your arms. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much fucking hair I have? Look at that. I mean, there's no way I can shave all of this. And also, it's not like too much. Oh, by the way, this 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 means I'm spending a lot too much time on the computer. Wow. Is it my name is on it? Hold on a second. I don't see it. Uh, Anthony Ferrer. What's the guy's name? Uh, watch who? Oh, watch Nicholas. Nicholas. I don't see it. Maybe six minutes ago. 17. Man, he makes like 10 ah. videos about Timepiece Gentleman a day. One hour. Uh, shit, one hour. Maybe you're with T Anthony in the. Man, Miami. how is this guy pumping out so many videos? I mean, is that even humanly possible? Dude, that's like a day ago, 23 hours ago. Where is it? No picture of me in it, so... I mean, he's, he's done like... Which one is it? I don't know, I'm having a look on my phone. Uh... Hmm. M, I own one luxury watch at a time. When I get tired of it, I change to something different. Nothing. <coughs> the truth. Tim, you yeah. asked. Ooh. Ah. Oh. You recognize it? No. What is so, that? I'll wait for someone to someone in the in the chat. Will someone very quickly will tell us? Bet yeah. Someone in the chat will say very quickly. I'm sure they will. Well, no, obviously it's Pink Floyd. Pulse. It's a it's a live album from night the night uh, late eighties. It's got four it's got four albums in it and a big book. And it's probably one of my favourite because it just sounds absolutely awesome. It's been remastered, and it's got. I mean, their 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 light show. 
their light their their light show is like fantastic. That's their light that's part of their light show. A second, the light show. Ooh. They a, yeah, they have a big round disc behind wow. them which, which projects pictures and stuff and they have lights. They use Pink and... Floyd in the in the Dune, right? Sorry? They Do use they? Pink in Floyd the music in the latest Dune movie. Oh, they probably did. They probably did. They probably use it everywhere with the permission, but it's... Yeah. It's, wow. it's Yeah. Uh, M3, um, Colleen, this is the reissue one. So it, I don't know if it's a fortune... I, I haven't checked uh, actually whether it's a, whether the reissue is going up, but um, David says he was to that laser show. Yeah, it's just wow. and they, yeah, it, they are just okay. The big round behind them, it's a screen. The big the big round thing behind them is actually like a video screen, and they play they play different images and stuff compared with the music. It's like amazing. The show is just like incredible. Yeah, just, wow. Pink Floyd, man, they are they are brilliant. Legends, legends. Yeah, legend. yeah, yeah, Wasn't there's legend. like a oh, man? There was like a doctor, I think, who would listen to Pink Floyd during operations. <laughs> kind of wild. Yeah, How do you yeah. fucking do wow. that? Wow. Keep him chilled out. I don't know. Yeah, this is maybe. Dark side of the moon. Amoeba. A, well, actually, I think there's a song. I think there's a song called "Brain Damage." So I hope he wasn't a fucking surgeon. <laughs> <brain surgeon. laughs> <Brain surgeon. laughs> The brain damage <laughs> by by Big Floyd's password is a brain surgeon. He plays brain damage. Hmm, okay. Uh oh. Maybe is that's Pocket how still you get. working out? Or is he done? Are you finished? Or... No, not that. Cool he's starting. Oh, he's still working out. Everyone should be doing. I should be doing this watch talk while working out. By the way, you know what? I'm not a huge fan of those uh, those weights. You know what I mean? With uh, that you adjust. I think I would rather because they're so big, right? Because because I would rather I think just get the set. Of like just different ones, yeah. but then you can't be a minimalist Lazy. like me, huh? Then you can't be a minimalist, dude. I just think <sighs> I'm just lazy, um, because you have to put them in the rack, turn it. You know, it's it's hard. See, like, look, he has to put them carefully in there. Turn. See how it's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, amoeba but everything has gone up watches are really expensive but silver is still cheap about $20 an ounce there you go I think uh, I was watching like this whole conversation about this, that, that buying gold is hedge against inflation blah 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 and it's like mm, I don't know I uh Gold's at its highest for a long time at the moment. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. And gold's going way over platinum, which is weird. I think gold, all the prices for all these precious metals are going up because people are panicking and there's this whole, right? People are making this whole big deal about everybody's have to be getting hedged. So everybody's jumping on. It's like Bitcoin. Wait, what's, what about what, what's going on with the Bitcoin? Is it up, down? What the fuck? I don't know. I don't crypto yeah. well, sure. no, no, mike, mike the snake was into it the other night he was talking about yeah. um Did he, he get his he, money back yeah i don't know um oc was questioning him about it the other day didn't it? wasn't he mm. so <laughs> rjw member for nine months that is incredible hey tim is it possible to join the stream 100 percent? i'm going to drop the link you can hop on we can talk watches whiskey and hoarding the hoard the hoarding guys i met i met nick mason at motor racing event as he is a ferrari car buff yeah he's a drummer he's, he's a drummer from pink floyd ah interesting you know all these guys that into something then w when you meet them they're actually into something else right like, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of, they don't yeah. really want to talk about their yeah. music. They want to talk about watches or something. Right? Much, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, John Mayer just as much into into um, watches as he into his music. He absolutely has got a fucking... He, On a side note for any Tampa people, I'll be going collection. here tomorrow. Ooh, Tampa. February 11th, 5 to 8 p.m., Breitling Boutique. Well, why is that a plaque? I don't get it. Oh, it's just a picture. So, uh, oh, it's on the is, iPad. I thought it was a tablet. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, it was an advertisement that Red Bar came to I thought it was like an award or something, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brightling super fan or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought it was like you grabbed it from the wall. It looked framed, right? Like behind yeah. glass. It looked like you had some sort of plaque had been awarded. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you were awarded with going to, to this event. That's, that's cool, but like, why would... Is it worth hanging well, on the wall? Just an advert. <laughs> yeah. RJW, <laughs> welcome to the show. Oh, you got YouTube playing in the background. Did I uh, hold on one second? I got to go turn it off. I got to run on an holding, iPad. We're holding the horses. We're holding Just the horses. Yeah. Holding the horse. Mr. GMT, what has this turned into a gym show? That's how we stay sexy. It's encouragement for everyone to become more sexy every day. All right. That should be better now. It's very good. Welcome to yep. the show, mate. Thank you for being Thank a you very member much. for nine months yeah i've been following you for a while i uh i got interested with your uh political debates with marco uh back in the oh day boy. there i don't know if you uh, recall Ooh. but yeah it's good i'm uh you know did, did you hear the debate yesterday on archie show i was doing a bit of a uh, circular logic there i caught yeah i caught a second of it i'm uh i'm in austria actually so you're keeping oh. me up uh late into the uh into the morning but yeah I did, did you know i got a complaint i got a complaint from from a viewer right and he, he lives in london right and he he contacted me he said like dude this is kind of fucked up because i have to work in the morning but you you did that script right and i couldn't go to sleep until like 1 30 a.m <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> and then before bed i got hungry and uh, i had I had to get something from the refrigerator like how do i you know <laughs> so apologies but people want the drama so Go yeah i think it. i'm i think i'm one of the only ones that wanted to see archie's new car but uh Ugh. i was in the minority there yeah sorry sorry no no yeah. the minority was the dating profile for lord Right, right. I think I'm also in that camp as well. So if I could cast two votes, I would have done that. Yeah. <laughs> so Drama what made you the... pull the trigger tonight to join the show, mate? Honestly, I don't know. I've been following for a while, and uh, you know, I've got a, a I'm, I'm, I'm a few beers deep, uh, to say the least. So I very I nice. Uh, why not now? <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, let's let's do a complimentary wristwatch check. What you got on the wrist, mate? Sure, I've got a. Uh, I've got a uh, bluesy on Ooh. tonight. I don't know how Ooh. good that is. It's beautiful. Pre-ceramic bluesy, that. very classy. Pretty ceramic, yeah. Aluminum bezel. You know, it goes with your whole okay. stick, matches the, the frames. A bit of gold matches the frames in the glasses. Yeah, nice. yeah. I like to, you know, I like to mix metals for sure. But I'm all over the place. I mean, I'm uh, I'm interested in, in Rolex just as much as anyone, but I'm also interested in uh, what Archie might uh, term uh, or you might term a, a shitter. Uh, you know, I'm into yes. docs uh, and all that sort of stuff, too. So uh, maybe T and Tickers uh, might uh, commiserate with, uh, you know, those sort of brands with me as well. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sort of I, I cover the spectrum, really. Yeah. What did you say? Docs, sir? Did you say? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, oh, yeah, I like yeah. Docs. Oh, docs, are docs are used to be um, used to be issued. Do docs doxers were issued a few years ago. Not wrong with doxers. I don't know if they There's were issued. Uh, sure I, don't they were. They, I don't know if they were issued a few years ago. I mean, it would it would have been a it would have been you know a real while back uh, as far oh, well, as you, yeah, you know. That's what I mean about a few years. Yeah, sorry, a few years. But yeah. Yeah. I yeah you know. National, I thought the Marine National maybe used them. I don't know. Um, Docs, I don't think. I I was extremely disillusioned by Docs, right? It uh, a lot of people seem to like them. Just bring, bring yeah, them up. They were, yeah, they were issued. They were issued. But do you have in... one of these actually, or are you just a fan, but you uh, never held one in your hand? Me? No, no. Uh, oh, RJW. RJW. Do you own one, RJW? Oh, oh he lost the internet. Oh, I think he got doxxed. He got doxxed. Doxxed. Yeah. <laughs> doxxed. yeah. <laughs> Data cam. Data cam. The internet gods struck it down. Yeah. I, it, I think it had something to do with the fact that I was just going to say, hey, you know, I've I've seen a couple of these. 
Actually, mm. look at this. They're actually expanding their range so, like, like they're really capitalizing. Like they're really they're going pumping. quite ag aggressive, aren't they? With like, even at Watch Pro, they, they only had a few, but when you go on their website, like you see here, it's just yeah, so it's never endless. Now, yeah, every color, every fight, bracelet straps, every metal, everything. They make a really cheap carbon watch, though, which is kind of impressive. How much is the carbon one? The carbon one's about like thirty eight hundred, four thousand dollars, which that's that's pretty good for a carbon watch. I'll tell you what though. So you know that word that that what was the first word that you said before carbon? Uh I cheap. I don't know if I said anything. <laughs> it was cheap, right? <laughs> ah cheap, cheap. Yeah. I see. All right, so now the problem the problem with uh with the carbon is that it's it's that first word. The first word <laughs> that that actually now I would be no problem if it was cheap but like high quality carbon. But that high quality is actually missing from from between cheap and carbon. So would you end up with is really cheap carbon? And yeah, this I, one's I, got cheap carbon or all carbon watches are cheap. No, 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 no. This one's got really cheap carbon. Okay, these are professional I mean, diving watches, docks are like as in Look, they so might, they might get the job done, but it's four thousand pounds. I mean, fuck no, I wouldn't me pay dead. Four thousand U.S. dollars. <clears throat> that is a lot of money. I like, like this is. You can get FXD was was not much more than this. Okay, the military, the Swiss military, of, a bit of the past were issued doctors. They're issued to the Swiss military. Yeah. The Swiss Federal Military Department. Used doctors and for the combat divers used doctors between between 1969 and 1979. Yeah, but, but also them. they're still Switzerland's neutral, so they probably didn't get involved in any actual action. Did they? <laughs> what what what's the price on one of these? Let's just 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 quickly. Wait, this looks weird. This is not it. Uh, it's because they have that beads of rice. Where's the be uh beads of rice? Oh, there it is. That's the one. It's how much is one of them? How much? It's two thousand dollars. Right. Not too bad. That's, that's cheaper than the that, that's cheaper than the uh, FXD. Yeah. By like two yeah. Than a Black Bay. Cheaper than a Black Bay. That is. But but you know how oh RJ yeah. RJW you're back you're back, you're back. Yeah. I like yeah. cheaper than a black bay cheaper than a black bay oh this. echo oh, echo, echo. echo. Oh, RJW okay. turn off the YouTube in the background oh. that should be better now hey oh no, he's got one no, the same one. Well. Oh. yeah as I said uh, they were issued to the Swiss to, to the Swiss uh, military between sixty nine and seventy nine. Yeah, oh, that's sort of a uh, well, whether or not you can really corroborate that is uh, is another issue. I mean that that's sort of a speculative information, if, okay. as far as I'm concerned. It's uh, you know the history with docs is sort of a muddy one, but the, as the story goes, they were issued to the Swiss special forces yeah. in low. They had EMD on the back. I've got a picture on the markings of EMD, which is the Swiss Federal Military Department. You wouldn't put them on if it weren't, would it? Would it? I've got a picture of one here. It's got EMD written on the back, which stands oh, yeah, for okay. Aiden Schneich sure. Military Department or Swiss Federal Military Department, as well sure. as an individual number. So I'm having it. They were issued to the Swiss military between 69 and 79. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, cool. Sure, fair I mean, enough. For me, they're uh, you know they were original. They were one of the original watches uh, with a helium escape valve. Uh, now yeah. the, the the sub three hundred doesn't come with a helium escape valve. That's the sub three hundred T, which weirdly enough is a thicker watch, a more capable watch, and uh, weirdly wow. enough a cheaper watch. Um, but for me, I have you know relatively small wrists, so the uh, you know so the sub the sub three hundred is. Uh, is a bit more in line with uh, you know my type of style, but does it have to have the does it have to have the the escape valve there? Would you say? I mean, I'm not going uh, saturation diving. I I don't know about you, Gene um, Tickers, but uh, this it, thing it doesn't, doesn't have really a, make a difference for me. That thing doesn't have an escape valve, and that that they're, they're, they're being picked up by the Marine National. 
And that, sure. you're not I mean, that, you know, that uh, right now. Yeah, you know, you having know, it, it's it's a marketing. It's just another marketing yeah, thing, right? They made it I'll thinner. You, They're taking the escape valve off. That's why they made it two millimeters thinner because no escape valve. Yeah, that 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 sort of vintage style, uh, making it a bit thinner, it wears better for me. Uh, if you want to go, if if you're one of the hundred and fifty people in the world that uh, need a watch for uh, saturation diving, then you might want to go yeah. for the the three hundred P. But even oh, then, no, nobody's uh, using. Those, nobody's no. using conventional watches for for saturation diving. They got computers for that. Exactly. Yeah. And even, Unless and they even... wanna they wanna do like just just have fun uh, while diving. This is kind of what I would do. You know, I, I would I would one hundred percent wear maybe a sub on one wrist and a computer on the other, yeah. just because it kind of feels good. I guess I wouldn't wanna. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I think now wearing a watch uh, diving is now more of. You know, you do it for the the romanticism of it. I don't know if you're familiar with Jason Heaton of uh, of Hodinkee and uh, the Grey NATO podcast, um, but he's sort of known for taking uh, vintage subs uh, and 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 vintage doxas and all sorts of vintage watches, and he, he takes them to his watchmaker and makes sure that all the, the the gaskets are up to par and all that. But he'll actually take them diving and um and all that but i mean that's there's there's no purpose for it anymore because if you yeah. want a purposeful diving watch you're gonna wear a sunto or whatever they're called right yeah so, so yeah. Cool or something like that yeah that's right yeah exactly. yeah i have there's one of those proper as well. computers for that no i have one of those as well yeah for sure. the sovereigns have are hard to move here in the united states the best coins american eagles or buffalo oh know a thing or two about those uh the 300 t goes down to a thousand two hundred meters and what's that like in rolex terms it's the same amount right that's because meters, meters. Sure. It's, it's more it's, it's, it's more than, than 300 yeah yeah and what what does it say three is it 300 it's 300 feet though Ooh, but it's no way because this six hundred, doesn't it? This uh, James Cameron, not, man, that yeah, goes to Mariana Trench. You're not covering your face up. You're not covering yeah, your face do, up. Do the, up. Do the, yeah, do the, yeah, yeah. That's why. By the way, do the dance. Is the death rating on the on the deep sea as deep as the Mariana Trench? Is that where is that where they got that depth rating for it? Three hundred three thousand nine hundred meters on this. Yeah, nine thousand nine hundred meters. Is that how de how deep the Mariana Trench is? No idea. How deep is Mariana Trench? Let's see. Well, it's seven miles. Oh shit! It's thirty-six thousand feet. Never mind. Thirty-six thousand <laughs> feet to the or bottom. eleven thousand meters. They scratched the surface of the Mariana Trench. Oh shit! No. Yeah, seven miles. Oh, That's kind of wow. deep. <laughs> Have you ever any monster said? Have you read that? Lord, is there a watch that can go that deep? <laughs> mm, so. Can you is it like like can can some can someone saturation dive that deep or will just explode their brains or something at some point? Because like I know miles. Huh? seven miles. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah, have thought so. I, I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so. I don't know. Yeah. Because I know like if you if you take a fish out of there. I don't like. Let's say if you if you were to take a fish, right, from that depth and bring it up to the surface, it would just poof, explode into billion pieces okay. because it lives under this pressure, right? right? So it's very pressurized. Mm -hmm. And then when you take it out, if you take it out quickly, it's just going to explode oh, okay. into like a into just you know into just meat. Just <laughs> well, it, it's a similar thing. I'm not. I'm. I'm by no means an expert on uh, on diving, but it's it's a similar thing uh, that happens with diving. If you come back to elevation too quickly, they call it the bends, and mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily what you're imagining, where you sort of implode, but or, yeah. or explode, but uh, but but it, it very much feels the same way. It's a from what I've. From what I understand, it's one of the but worst. The saturation, feelings the saturation, that you saturation have. sickness, right? The saturation sickness. Uh, not necessarily just from saturation diving, but oh. but, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's uh, any anytime you're coming back up to elevation too quickly, yeah. and uh, and that's that's what the uh, so 
when when you're so again, I'm not I'm not a diver, right? So I'm just just really like, quickly. You yeah, got to go confirm ahead. whether it's if this is what I'm thinking or not. So what happens when you're at the lower depth, right? The oxygen because there's so much pressure, the oxygen molecule, like literally like the the atoms, they're squeezed tighter, they're packed tighter, right? So you have these tightly packed atoms in your lungs, right? But as if you ascend too quickly. They will rip your lungs because uh, they get decompressed and they get larger, right? And alveoli in your lungs, you know that, that you know they're like processing. You know, lungs are processing this oxygen that's that's pressurized, that's small. So you have this this tightly packed oxygen in your in your alveoli in lungs, and if you ascend too quickly, they expand and they can they will rip your lungs on like molecular level is that is that that what you were talking about yeah i mean like i said i'm not i'm not a uh i'm, I'm not a diver nor am i a doctor so i i'm not familiar exactly with what uh Super chat does but i believe he may be able to offer some more uh insight into in, in into that maybe but uh, what you're saying is a general uh is generally correct uh in the most basic terms yeah because that was that was very my unpleasant. kind of basic level understanding tim's science lesson of the night thank you four nine is fine two bucks super chat how is the speedy running for accuracy each day wouldn't know um uh, hasn't haven't been you know what i even forget to to wind it like i should probably wake up every day and just wind it up a little bit but what happens i just remember it suddenly in the middle of the day like oh shit i forgot to wind it is it gonna stop and <clears throat> and also the fact that you know now having this watch makes me actually really appreciate the the uh, the power gauge on something like Grand Seiko. Even having it on the back, right? It is useful because I have no clue when was the last time I wound it and how many times I have to wind it. If you have that uh, the power gauge. You would know, oh, you know, it's at this point. But like, I'm just going by by feel, just completely randomly. Like, I'm just like winding. I don't know. I don't know when to stop. I'll just stop randomly. I don't know. I gave it a couple of winds. I guess it didn't stop, but mm. I should. I don't have the time <laughs> to, to do these tests, to be honest. Well, when you <laughs> wind it, don't, don't you feel it come to the stop when you wind it? Doesn't it no. don't feel it? No? no. I don't feel any like resistance. They did say that it has a break. Really? And yeah, not it's like gonna it's going it. to break, yeah. break. It's not going to break on it. It's got a clutch on it to stop you doing it. It's got a break on it. Yeah. When, one of my favorite pocket watches, it has yeah. a, uh, a power reserve power reserve on it. And that's a pretty cool p feature for a pocket watch. Power reserve mm -hmm. is freaking amazing. Now, it now I understand. Now it makes like, sense. It's so useful to have. Ronnie Paul, $5 super chat. Do YouTube search making of a Rolex Deep Sea Challenge experimental watch for the Deep Sea that went down to the trench? Yeah, they put it on the outside of the actual vessel that went down. I don't think is it, is it no one, one of those ugly, um, like I, I think I've seen one at a museum. It, it looks like it has this fucking what looks like a marble. <laughs> uh, yeah, the bubble like, type bubble yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah, then yeah, yeah. it's shaped like a like a like a space vessel making of rolex deep sea challenge experimental it's happening what did i do i was typing in the wrong place oh my oh, god yes. i probably activated like six or seven fucking what the hell did i do He's watching Nicholas. Holy shit. Yeah, I was typing in the wrong place. Making of a Rolex T challenge mental watch. Here we go. Watch Nicholas. I, I need to get that guy on the show. Oh, making of Rolex. Oh, it's a Rolex video. Uh, let's see. The Mariana Trench. Guys, I'm going to drop the link to this video in the chat so you can go check it out well let's see here okay there's no music but i can put it like that floodlands 99 two bucks one love to watch community amazing work last two nights floodlands 99 
Thank you so much for watching the show and enjoying the content, the excitement, a bit of drama here and there, but just generally watch talk. Watch talk. DC and LV, okay, we heard it all. <laughs> Tim is too lazy to watch this treatment. You just wind it, just wind it every morning. You should be all right. But I forget, you know, I forget in the morning. Why at night? Why on the show? I probably yeah. <laughs> can I remind should, should, you. You know what? You just set a yeah. reminder. Wind your watch. That's it. Night wrist watchman. You just figure you just you just figured it all out. You know what I should do? I should wind it every time I start the show. Look at yep. that. There you go. Oh my god, actually that's the depth of the freaking Mariana trench. This is like a piece unique. Where where is this watch? I want to know. That Holy fuck. Challenge. So on the rehot the engraved challenge. Wow. This now that's a fucking piece. 2000 and that was 2012. It was forever. I wasn't even United States back then. Does it have that detailing on the, the normal one? Like just not so much the challenge, but the seems to be a lot of text on there. What do you mean? Oh, the back, there seems to be a lot of extra detail uh, wording on the, the well, case. Well, actually, of the Red PC. Shovel, uh, the, his one has a ring lock system. Uh, yeah, that's, the... yeah, it said that on the, it did say that on there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this one has even more text. Yeah, it goes double deep sea challenge. Yeah. No. The ch Damn. Look at that. Holy fuck. This is science, guys. Science lesson. I guess they, they put it. Ooh, it's still working. There's <laughs> the bracelet. Now the bracelet should be for like a for like a sub submarine. Oh, they actually has a box for it? I think they clipped it to the outside though. They didn't put it. I don't think anyone was wearing it when they went down. They just put it on the outside. I want to know the... where this watch is. Well, look oh, at look the at glass. The, look the, at the glass. Oh. Hey, look at the crystal on it. Fuck me, that look, the that crystal. look at that. Thirty-nine thousand feet. It does say ring lock system. You see at the bottom there. Wow. Holy fuck! Now that was. Now that was Someone said it looks like an Invicta. You're fucking right. I've seen Invictors look like that. It looks like an Invicta Yeah, just shitter. completely oversized, right? It looks like an Invicta shitter. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, let's see here. Flood, we should pay you to wind. Yeah. Send the super chat to wind the speedy. It would be uh, highly appreciated. Ah, the watch gringer. This watch is a monster. Yeah. Yeah, girlfriend. That watch is crazy. Jump, jump on, Gringa. Come and say hello. Come on, jump on. Uh, what time is it, actually? It's probably late. It's 10 to I don't, I'm, minutes, on. I'm on. I'm in the same country, and I'm on. <laughs> yeah, well, what time I'm is on it? As well. and 10 to 11. <laughs> 10 to 11. Night's young. The night is young. Just chop up your glass, Gringa, and come and say hello. Well, you know what? I would love to actually do a show with her in the next couple of days. You know, she did a great video earlier today about right. uh, like hot topics, the things she didn't want to say. She was telling some truth. Now, yeah, why that, she, right? like good video? Good yeah. video. Yeah. Well, truth so you're, not, you're not allowed to say you like Rolex. You're not allowed, the movement. You can be too hung up on movements and mm. it's unpopular watch opinions. Yeah. Exactly. Mm, what is okay. what are some unpopular watch opinions that you guys have? That Rolex are the fucking bee's knees. Well, they ain't. I'm sorry. Balls to it. They're not the bee's fucking knees. Thank you. <sighs> Said it. Listen, Said it. Thank Vickers, you. I got to tell you, man. The what? thing is, what? I, I'm sorry. I, after what? getting Omega, I, I think I understand why Rolex should've, is bee's knees. Should have got tuna then, shouldn't you? Fuck me dead. You got the wrong brand, didn't you? No, 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 no. Because no, it's no, not no, the, the no. all the little imperfections. <laughs> it is more human, right? The 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 Omega, right? It's not perfect. It's very human, just like most of us, you know? We're not perfect. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Well, maybe I'm perfect, but most people on this panel are not perfect. Most well, people. Speak for you, 
fucking, speak for your fucking self. The wizard is perfect. I know that, except his camera. And you know what? You know who gave him that camera? camera? Sorry about that. No, wizard. I was just telling everyone how how I'm not perfect, but but you are. And look at this. Bullshit. You're fucking the man. You are the face <laughs> and the blessed one of the community. Don't go there. I'm just an old fart. <laughs> Uh, ah, watch Gringa says. I this. just made a deal. I'm getting a Aquanaut Singapore edition. Oh, Singapore edition Aquanaut. The Singapore edition Aquanaut. Let me bring this yes, up. Yes, sir. Mm. Now, Gringa I remember when that came out. out. She? Yeah, she's gonna come on one day. Glow. Yeah. Gringa's Not tonight, though. Unfortunately. <laughs> Everyone comes on for you, T and Tickers. You know why it's so hard, T and Tickers? Because yep. she actually she's making content. She's making videos. Whenever you make videos, I mean that editing a video, it just drains you. Tell hey, me, I fucking do enough of them. I do, I do two a fucking week. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how you do it, Tickers. You're the only full time job. What's a full time job? Your special one, six seven Ooh. Singapore edition. Look at that. Ooh. This guy Ooh. Ooh. Well, Twenty-five oh, million nice. in a fucking cryptocurrency, and he's—I sold him a lot of the stuff, so I'm buying some stuff, and that's for me. I like that. Oh, that's wow. not nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. My son like will uh, inherit this bitch. Wow. I like that. Tw- a little under twenty-five million he lost on crypto. Twenty-five million lost on yeah, crypto. Yeah, just under. Yep. Unbelievable. Oof. Who's that no. cute little kid? RJW. Oh, no, no. RJW. That's Pocket Watch's kid. <laughs> God bless him. Oh, he's adorable. It's not just the kid he abducted randomly on the street. Oh. Uh, Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey, baby. You're on TV. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that's the you? future of the community. So, oh, yeah, he's 13 months. Oh, so, so uh, time to buy him a small watch. I, yeah. I I will I will. He's gonna inherit quite a few. No, but wow. for him to learn how to tell time, you buy Flick Flack, which is made by the Swatch Group. It's the best to train a kid how to tell time. Okay, Flick Flack. Flick Flack. Okay. Wizard, cheap. have you heard... like fifty bucks, man? Wizard, have you heard of this brand, Parchy? Parchy, yeah. <laughs> You know, this is it, like, that looks like your pink watch you had or the yellow one. Yeah, yeah. I, I had a giveaway uh, of yeah, this. that one. You had that one. Yeah, I did. This is yep. this is very, very, oh, very cute. They have fuck. them in a couple of colors. They're cute for kids, man. They're awesome. You know, this is one of the the <laughs> ladies that worked at the Hodinki. She started this brand after after leaving uh after leaving the obviously the Hodinki. Wow, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, By the way, the name it's she you know you know this name it, it it's so bizarre because it's like it's Archie. Pontiff Archie. Pontiff yeah, Archie. and Paul Pluta. So it's and Paul Pluta. Archie. <laughs> <laughs> so Tim, what was that? What was that shitter brand we looked at yesterday for 22 grand? Let's ask um oh, what drink is working on a video oh, now, she God. says for Parchi. Yeah. Graph. Oh <laughs> my god. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, watch with Spiker. You got that beautiful watch. Oh yeah, Congrats, yeah. Congrats, man. Congrats. Yes. All the best. Wearing Thank a great Thank you. What about what do you think about graph watches? Uh, oh, unpopular watches? opinion. If I would the jewelry designs because they ain't got no watch business. Man. Yeah, no, we we had, we had a discussion about yeah. them last night. Twenty-two fucking grand. Jesus. No watch game at all. Oh, no, was no. that the Gringa? Oh yeah. The yeah, famous the watch Gringa. The world famous, famous. and renowned watch Gringa. <laughs> the horological diva. Watch Gringa. <laughs> yes. Uh oh, she's wor- she's working right now on the I want I wonder what she's gonna say. I wonder what she's going to say. Ah uh, the leads. The leads, the leads, guys. The leads. The leads. <laughs> <laughs> He's told the leads. Uh, so has, uh, Timmy, has this watch like for kids gone good? Like they're selling hot? Um. Well, I. It's hard to say. They're available. Um. I don't think this you know is what going I should to do? be anything I should that buy sells over retail. The fucking pontiff. Yeah, Tim, in, I don't... In, in 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 watch Gringa's video about this parchy. I mean, they they look cool for uh you know a a, a small 
kid getting into watches for the first time. But I'd like yep. to know what sort of separates this from anything else that's on the market right now. I mean, well, I like, uh, you know, Kara from Hodinki as much as anyone else. Yeah. Um, she was great. Uh, I don't think she uh, works there anymore. But I mean, these are cool pieces. No, no, she but, doesn't work uh, there. Um, uh, but I just sort these of... These are more you know, for what's, what's uh, like 10 and 12 year olds once they no, know how to tell time. For sure. But I mean, I think there's already products on the market like that. And, well, uh, Slack, but just, Flick Flack is the yeah, best to teach a kid how to tell time. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so I mean, I mean it's advertised. Let's just take a look, quick look at the advertisement, right? What are they saying? I mean, aluminum, it's made out of aluminum. So, so it's and this is this is what I really liked about this watch in particular over many others, is that aluminum watch, it's uh it's a watch that can withstand a little bit more time and use. And it, it's kind of like in this disposable world that we live in, right? If it's plastic, it kind of teaches kids like, oh, this thing is not valuable. This is gar this is going to turn into a kind of garbage. But having an aluminum body, it, it it's recyclable later, obviously. But it's also something that it has it has some heft to it, and it feels it feels good in your hand. So I really actually I really like it. But also it uses like non toxic materials. So if like I don't know if a kid puts it in their mouth or something, water resistant to thirty meters. Yeah, it's got a bit a of that if design. A, if, a kid, if a kid swallows this, there's going to be some problems, I think. Oh, big uh, time. Regardless <laughs> of the toxicity. Yeah. 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 It's exactly what this video is about. I'm buying up a bunch of kids' watches and having the kids. Oh, choose nice. the watch. Yeah. Wow. That's a, that's actually a very, very good con. I mean, that's a hard video to make I mean, it takes probably a week or two to do it oh you know? for sure and then editing right. another week yeah this is that is an excellent idea i you know i said something like this about adults i, I would want to do some on the street talking which i i kind of did i spoke with some people just randomly on the street about watches but having them choose kind of uh without knowing anything about brands it's always it always surprises you you know because like I made a little reel and the reel of the date just with the smooth bezel Jubilee bracelet, it exploded. I got like a hundred thousand views. It's because maybe it's like none of us here would, would take that over a Submariner, but the general public would. And th this is just something surprising. And maybe, maybe Kari, maybe she, she, you know, she, the, the kid tested it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm actually, I'm, I'm curious to know which watch the kids will choose. This is fascinating, fascinating research. Uh, Tim will start working on cool video ideas after he does the dishes. Damn. Yeah, it's hard, guys. You know that that. That's what I'm saying. Like today, I mean, I had to. Like a friend called, said, "Go, go with my dad, help him out." We went there, and that took took a whole day, and and spun me into this whole depression of whether I'm a hoarder or not. You know? Oh, oh by the way, a hundred and fifty people voted whether they consider themselves a hoarder. We got sixty two percent people who said no, but thirty eight said they believe that they're hoarders. Guys, I think we all have to stop hoarding so much and put 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 our efforts into upvoting the live stream. Or am I hoarding the upvotes? Ooh. Speedy How many upvotes have we got? What are we hmm? on? How many upvotes are we on now? We're at 58, which is pretty good. 58? Decent. Oh, by the way, by the way, you guys want to see a new watch? Speaking of hoarding, <laughs> here we go. I've got a, a new watch. Anyone, anyone want to guess what it is? And I'll do a little bit of an unboxing. Let's do it uh, for five bucks. I'm going to do an unboxing of this new watch. It's very, it, this is why I'm wearing today the, the costume, the, the, the Russian costume. Uh, the Gopnik uniform, Vostok, right? Vostok. 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 It's Vostok. very close. It's very close. But 
not 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 quite there. Not quite there. CCCP. CCCP. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, and does Gringa consider herself a hoarder? I am off to bed. Can't hoard sleep. You need it. Thank you so much for another amazing live stream, Tim, and the fabulous panel. You are you're all stars. Love you, girl. I'll see yeah, you come on the stream one day. Come on the stream soon, Gringa. It'd be good to have you on. Well, we'll try to schedule. He's only happy when you're in the chat, by the way. Aww. He's always normally sad. Like on his birthday, you know he, didn't come on. he was so uh, sad. Night wristwise, man. I'll try to come up with a good topic, and maybe you know what? Maybe that topic right there, talking about either kids' watches or, uh, uh what was it? the unpopular watch opinions? Maybe, maybe we could we could do. Maybe we could discuss a topic that's based on her video. I think that would be. Uh, a very That'd be cool, good, yeah. You get right? a lot of different cool things to do. Yeah, different, yeah, different takes on it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah so I'll, I'll just talk. Yeah, and that could, you know, can help us promote the video and at the same time could be very, very exciting. So Tim, you said it's not Vostok, right? It's not a Vostok. Paul not Jod. A Vostok. Paul Jod. Wait, hold on. Let me just double Paul check. Jod. It's a no, Paul it's not. Jod. It's not. <clears throat> oh, a Vostok. There's a Vostok. There's a beautiful uh, Vostok. Sturmansky, Sturmansky. The, uh, the Zisu special there, uh, you know, oh. it's, a, it's a fun piece to have in the drawer that, anyway. I mean, That's the, a Vostok, right? The Vostok, yeah, it's a 420K. You know what? One. Go ahead, yeah. I'm trying, I'm starting to understand something about your stick. You see, you got those rings. Those are fucking mm. cool, cool looking rings, by the way. Thanks, man. Thank you. And they that jewelry kind of goes really well with those beads of rice. Yeah, you look at that. You see? Is that yeah. Hermes? Is that Hermes bracelet? That's Hermes. Yeah, Wait. sorry. I'm, yeah, this is, that is a Hermes. presidential now? Yeah, that's a uh, eight yeah, oh. wow. my, my, uh, my yeah, my dad uh, gave that to me actually. Wow. Very nice watch. Beautiful. Diamond, what year is that? Diamond dial. What year actually. is that one? 1987, I believe. Yeah, I'd have to. Well, those, tonight, those presidentials say. age so well, don't they? You couldn't tell. I mean, you could have what they well, used to. Just... The one thing about Fucking them is man. the bracelets do stretch. Uh, yeah, that's the only okay. thing, right? Uh, mm. But just to look at to the to the person, the other the third person party, that just looks immaculate. So it's Absolutely a one eight zero three eight, right? One eight, yes, eighteen oh three eight. Yeah, yeah one eight eighteen oh three eight. Yeah, yeah. Back exactly. in the eighties, that's the reference. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a it's a beautiful piece. I mean, the the funny thing is, to the naked eye, you can get these. I don't know what the market value is today. I I don't know. It's it's not as. They're still a uh, little bit undervalued. Is it really? I don't, I'm, not, a little more. I'm not familiar with what it is, but I know that it's a lot cheaper than what it would be to buy one brand new. A, a okay, uh, a current and, model would be fifty, sixty thousand. Right. And so, to the naked eye, they look the exact same, right? Yeah, so, uh, you can't tell yeah if exactly. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Away. Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. But, uh, but you know what? The Vostok for seventy-five bucks or whatever it is. Is that seventy-five bucks? If you're just into a quirky, uh, a quirky piece, um, you know, it's 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 not so bad. It's not running right now. I don't. You uh, see, I'm looking at that piece, and how is that any worse uh, than the the Doxa you had? And I think it's, that actually, it's it's it's, it's quite it's it's uh, well, it's debatable. They both have uh, interesting history to them. I'll tell you one thing with with the difference. This bezel okay. has I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you this, but this has no uh, no click. It's by it no whatsoever. It's bi-directional. It's a piece of crap, right? Yeah, uh, you know, if that's what it is, it's seventy. It's seventy-five bucks. It's a cool piece. Anyone who's yeah. familiar with uh, Wes Anderson films uh, might have yep. seen, uh, you know, the uh, Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. Uh, that's the exact model that he wore. He wore it on a rubber bracelet. So mm. it's a cool piece to have, right, in the drawer. But th- this Doxa uh, has a lot more history to it. Number one, it's one of the uh, one of the first um, true dive watches alongside the uh, the Submariner and the Blanc Pont 50 Fathoms. And, uh, you know, it's... Dude, that click, though, it's so vicious. It's vi- because Well, you know what, Tim? I'll tell you what. I've got my... Uh, I've got my... 
my 1997 uh, Submariner there. Yeah, I had it in. I had it, you know, checked for the the gaskets and everything, and and and, yeah. and to make sure that it was okay. And I brought when I went to Greece in the summer. I decided, Ooh. you know what, I've got a Submariner. I'm going to be swimming with it. So you know, whether or not that's a smart idea, who knows? But the watch the watchmaker approved it. I went in, the, you know, the sea with this for a month. There was no problem. But you know what? I was trying to turn this bezel um, under the water. Absolutely impossible. Now, this thing, really? uh, you know, you're not going to have any issues turning that bezel. And this bezel is also different because it's not just it's not just a timing bezel, but it's a non-decompression bezel. So what this tells you is based on how you turn this, uh, I'm going to explain this really poorly, but based on how you turn this, you can see, well, okay, I'm... Uh, I'm, uh, you know, X meters deep. So based on that, I can stay at this level for X number of minutes without decompressing on the way up. So that's what th this is actually a utilitarian bezel for divers. I don't know where you got the, all the ah? Uh, wait, I don't see where you got all that information. Hold on a second. Let's see. Here. You want to see? There's two You're different. About, oh, all right, all right. So he has two layers to it. There's two. There's two bars. Is this what you're talking about? Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. So it's a non-decompression okay. table. So what that shows you is that, and again, I'm not a diver, right? I'm just a poser like anyone else. Okay. I like the idea of it. But if you want to talk about the utilitarian uh, uh, per, you know, purpose of this Okay, piece, but how do I tell when my laundry is done? Yeah, I mean, you can probably <laughs> figure that out as well, which would probably be more, a, uh, a more of an everyday task. Yeah, for sure. Gotcha. So it's basically got two bezels in one. That's exactly. All. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I see. So it's got a standard 5, 10, 15 to 50 to 60 minutes. And it's got the reversal of that 60, 55, 20. Yeah. Tim, are, are you familiar with Jacques Cousteau at all? Jacques yeah. Cousteau, the diver. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So this was, he, he wore, he wore uh, Rolex Submariners as well, but this was his watch of choice. And, uh, mm. and, and when he basically patented the diving technology being the aqua lung, he chose oh. Doxa to be the partner for that. And so, if oh. you, so now if you look at the hand market for Doxas and you find vintage Doxa aqua lungs, uh, they're quite valuable. Uh, and, and, and for that reason, because how come they, they went really completely broke and, and kind of lost yeah, the, the company went broke i'll tell you why i'll i'll i'll, I'll absolutely tell you why and it, the the fact of the matter is the courts crisis came and they couldn't survive it absolutely not one of the one of the things that they did to try to um conquer the courts crisis was yeah. release the doxa um sub 600t which i have here oh on you the, got another uh, one yeah which i have here none of them are set for the time by the way i don't wear them very often but, um uh which uh was actually released on an integrated uh bracelet Okay. Uh, very much a Genta esque design. If you see was it that? Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. I can see um, by the it kind of integrating ish bracelet. Exactly. Yeah. But you know, the, was that the quartz? Was that quartz at that time when they released it? You know, I I'm not. You know, I'm not uh, 100 percent sure. I believe it may. They may have released it in both automatic and quartz. So today, this, for example, is an ETA 2824. Um, yeah. This, I believe, uh, with the Swatch Group uh, sort of fiasco, has to use a Salida movement. At the time, I believe they were uh, running both courts uh, and... Um, I got to tell you, man, it sounds like a lot of marketing bullshit, uh, but... Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what, Tim? <laughs> the, funny thing is, the, the funny thing is, Tim, I have a master uh, in, in, of science in marketing, and you're absolutely yeah. right. It's a yeah. bunch of marketing bullshit, but yeah. so is everything. I have a master's in circular so logic, so... So do I, yeah. It's, I can, I just I can read through, a, uh, through it, right? It's just like, hey, you know, this is what they did. Like, look. I understand. I get it. What well, what happens is that there is the brand that used to be nice yep. and had a lot of history and heritage. And what? How do most brands sell their watches? They sell it based on history and heritage. That's what people care about. So, some Fiker bought the brand, the rights to the brand, and started pumping out watches. Now that it's again lucrative to do so. Well, Tim, can I say there, it's actually one step worse. What happened is after after the after the after the crisis, uh, the, the the courts crisis, um, it was it it sort of reached a point of complete irrelevancy. 
Uh, and in the early 2000s, it was bought by, uh, or the rights to the name were purchased by a guy called Rick Murray. Uh, and he did actually some interesting, he basically revived the brand. Um, and, and it was a really niche thing at the time, sort of like Panerai was at the, you know, with the, with the early watch forums. Um, yes. and, what, and what the family who had owned the Doxa brand in the 1980s did after Rick Murray brought this brand back to relevancy, that family, the Jenny family, came back and said, you know what, Rick Murray, thank mm -hmm. you very much for making this brand relevant again. Uh, and mm -hmm. your contract is no longer uh, wanted by us. And we're going to take the brand back for ourselves. And that's exactly what they did. Uh, yeah, but that so happened they, in 97, I remember. Yeah. I don't. Uh, so basically, they they, they took all the those Jenny books. Yeah. Rick, uh, sorry, Watch Wizard. I don't. You you may be correct about when the Jenny family bought it, but Rick Murray was in the early two thousands. No, uh, no, probably, yeah. But don't forget in, the watch is from eighteen eighty nine originally, right? It's one of sorry, the oldest he, brands back in Switzerland. Well, no, the the Doxa, this Doxa, the Doxa subs, which is what they're known for, are not from eighteen eighty nine. 1889 no, no, 1889 is when the company was first established in Neuchâtel yeah absolutely but they were making yeah. irrelevant sort of you know no one cares about the watches that they made in 1889 uh, they the first watch that they made that was had any relevancy was the Doxa graphic which i believe won some uh horological award for its design um which yeah, was yeah the graphic in 57 absolutely that's correct it yeah, might I know been, because we used to sell a lot of them when i was in new york city but yeah. it's Look, I can't even find one at a decent price. Try to find the Tiffany blue one. <laughs> the Aquamarine. Yeah. Try to find that. See what happens. You can buy them yeah. brand new from the website now. I mean, yeah, but I don't want to. I want to get you know, uh, people post on it. To get it, yeah, yeah, that's, think, that's one thing. Uh, sorry, Tim, to interrupt you, but you know, Watch yeah. Wizard is right. You know, the community with Doxa is really a niche community, and if you it buy is. one. They're, Look, they are I, expensive for what they are, but if you go to resell one of them, you're not losing too much money. Now, RGW, 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 here's I'll tell you why. I'll yeah. tell you why. If I was a guy restarting the brand, Doxa brand, part of my, my marketing budget would be to buy up every single Doxa available on the, on the eBay and the gray market and then resell them at the inflated price because that's just another thing that you could use in your marketing look they're selling <laughs> over retail on the gray right you know it's not about the you know you tim, have money know you're, tim tim yeah. I, you're you're not i i i tim i love you that's what you, i would you do i'm just great, saying you, if you, i was tim you, tim you give us some great content you're not really the guy for niche watches this is not what's happening with doc so no one is is no one's manipulating the gray market on doc so you know so I'm saying if i was <laughs> if i was in charge of the marketing department at doxa that's what i would be doing it's not a it's not you know? a bad uh, move i think that's what rolex might be doing to some that's degree. what paddock sure. did that's what paddock yeah. did they yeah, bought up all the like vintage paddocks that were on the market they made a museum and now, you know, I think they, they built up a, a big hoard. And now that there's the value of those watches, they bought them up for cheap. Now the value went up. They can sell them back into the market at, uh, you know, at an inflated price. Oh, well, milk. We call Tim, that the watch box strategy. The watch box strategy. Uh, Tim should try to launch a Phoenix break now that he is tight with the marketing genius. <gasps> not that easy <laughs> it's not easy man nothing none of this is easy artificial scarcity scarcity isn't marketing well isn't it i it think is. it's all part of marketing strategy it is in a way it right? is yeah it's, a, it's it's another thing that it's another box that you could tick but hey Fake leg, get told, Artem. <laughs> Doxa can stand on its own. They don't need Tim. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but 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 you know what? Uh, you know, Tim. It, it brings up a good question as well, which is, um, I've got some Rolex, and then I've mm. got uh, yeah, and, and I've got some, some, some Yeah, well, I've got Vostok. I've got different. I've got different brands. I've got Piaget. But my point is. Um, I think there's something to be said about buying brands that retain value. Um, but what yes. for you, if you were to go out and, and 
Would, well, this is a different question. Would you be able to fall in love with an interesting piece if it did not retain its value? You personally. Um, no, yeah, I mean, I like the, the, the Speedy, right? I love the Speedy. Not because it retains the value, but because of the story associated with it. Also, I got a piece here to, to unbox that doesn't retain the value, but maybe it's going to have a story of its own. Five bucks, I'm going to do an unboxing. Nobody wants to see it. See it? People don't want to see it. Hold on. Rolex. Hold on. Hold on. Tim, I would, I would super chat you the five bucks, but I honestly don't know how to <laughs> escape. Uh, yeah, we got 145 here. people watching. Guys, make sure you hit the upvote button. I, I would at least appreciate that. Tim could not. You know, it's, uh, you, you, you can only do one thing at a time. Like I wouldn't be able to run the live stream and the marketing dep department at Doxa. Although I, I could take that job. I will. I will take that job. Hey, I'll take Doxa, if Doxa is listening, I'm unemployed YouTuber. I will take that job. And by the way, <laughs> any other brand as well. I think it would be a little less stressful. I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to. Uh, oh, by the way, Air King Ben. Speaking of boxes and unboxings, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this shipped real soon. So there you go. See that? See? I did some things. I'm, I'm, I'm getting rid of some stuff. So, I have it boxed. I'm gonna ship it soon. How is the sale on that submersible going? Not going well. It's sinking. Right. It's submersible. <laughs> Clean down the barrel of the trench. It. <laughs> yeah, I cannot unsink it. Uh, the wizard. Thank you. The unboxing tip. Thank you. So what is it? Vostok, Sturmansky, Poljot, Raketa. Which fucking fucking Russian? You are selling that unboxing Ooh. now. You've been paid. You want five dollars? You want? You got twenty? It's actually, look at this. It's orange. Just like the super chat. What the fuck Again, is it's Sturmansky. I just said it's Sturmansky. You got it, Wizard. Wizard, no. There's only four brands that I know of Russian watches. Oh yeah, that's probably the the the, the, the brands that that matter uh, from from that country at all. Wow, has she got but a wobbly yeah. crown? Has she got a wobbly crown? The, no. What the fuck? <laughs> no, no. This is a solid piece. Check yeah. it out. Glad this is actually an incredible piece. Let me show you. Box cover your papers. Cover your face, Dave. You're not covering your face. You're not working with it. Okay. I'm covering my face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the, the red shovel. Face. Yeah, face cover. Yeah. yeah. I like that. I like that. The face plug. <laughs> yeah. I do. I Look like that. that. Yeah, very funky. Yeah. 36 mil? 36? 38? Uh, it, lo it looks like 40. It looks like 40. Too big for you. Big for you it's then. on uh, a double pass NATO. Let's see. Let's take that off. It's got a, actually, it's got a sticker on the back. It says something. It's, it says something. Oh, look at that. Who oh, the fight the moon, is that? The moon. It's limited edition as well. Look. Yeah. Yuri, Yuri. Yuri, Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin. Sputnik, oh, cool. Sputnik. Sputnik. This is First man in space. Aaron himself. CCCP. It 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 reads Pierre Chasse of Cosmos. It means wow. first watch in space, Vikers. Yes. There's well, the a first watch there's space, a first watch on the moon and the first watch in space. Biatches. Hang on a minute, <laughs> hang on a minute. Fuck me. How do you get to the moon if you don't go in fucking space? Right, so that's why how this is so important. Be the first, how can the, 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 the Omega be the first one on the moon, but not the first one in fucking space? Because, because they went to space first. Went before. The the they Russians went to space first, 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 then the moon. I could be completely mistaken on this, but I believe that Yuri wore either a Vostok or a Raketa uh, in... Raketa, in, Raketa. In, well, are you saying that Russians are lying? Controversial. Are no, no, well, they would never lie, of course not. Why would Propaganda. Russians ever lie? They don't have any hidden agendas. Only Omega would lie. Actually, Omega had, they even have one, the first Omega in space. And get the, do you understand the wording? It's so tricky. First Omega in space. Basically, not the first watch in space. It's the first Omega 
Very you tricky. Know, Ooh, Tickers said needs a drink. Like, and I'm saying, too much had a... So, more a raqueta. Too much had a need decaf. I need fucking... I need, I need tea properly. I've had this shit all night, haven't I? Everybody, stop everything you're doing. Grab a cup of brew. <laughs> and uh, we'll resume the show. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, do you uh, mind if I ask a uh, watch wizard? Uh, I'm I yeah. live in Austria, but I'm actually Canadian. I was just uh, is is watch wizard? He's living in Ontario, or yep. Where are you look? Oh, you are, eh? Okay. Yep. Nice. On the nice. border of New York, Cornwall. Okay, right on. Yeah, I'm from the the GTA, but okay, that's interesting. You're from uh, uh, Toronto area. Area, yeah, 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 exactly. Half an hour away. Where the fuck is Austria? Austria. Hey, no one knows. No one knows. Completely Super irrelevant. Chat. Super chat. <laughs> Super you know, chat. I once, I once, I once ordered something. Five dollars. T and tickers. And Tim need a drink. Thank you so much. Let's see here. What the? Where is Austria? Oh. Oh, it's it's in between all these meaningless countries like Slovakia, Czechia, Hungary. Slovenia, Croatia, like who knows that? So Serbia, like yeah, these all of these meaningless countries. You know, it's sandwiched between stuff that matters, like Germany, France, yeah, Russia. Yeah, yeah. yeah, look how many countries there's there, like in in Europe, the Netherlands. Tim, Tim aren't you Ukrainian? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just messing with you. I would, you know, no, 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 no worries. I would say that that Austria is. The, I would say that Austria is the gateway between Western and Eastern Europe. But my girlfriend would get very angry at me for saying that. So, yeah, but, Ooh. Uh, but yeah you for know, sure. It's, it's, oh, you know, I had a viewer from Liechtenstein. I don't yeah. know if he still watches, but he he wrote me an, uh, a wonderful email. One of the first emails that I ever got from a viewer. And it was a viewer from Liechtenstein. He said he was a mathematician there. He had an Air King. Shout out to Air King Ben. So this guy, he had an Air King. He had a bunch. He had like three watches. Very, very cool, classy stuff. A lot of things happened since then. So he probably hates me now. Because, you know, some people, they don't understand the whole... <sighs> me being a dickhead sometimes. Shtick. Sometimes? Just... <laughs> what, what did you say to him? No, no, I never said anything to him. But you know how people come into the hobby, they go out of the hobby, they like it, and they. But it was, you know, in those early days, I I was talking about, you know, I was le I, actually I wasn't gonna do YouTube for much longer at that point. I was gonna go and hike uh, uh, Colorado Trail. And one of the things that I want to do in my life is do is do a Mont Blanc tour de Mont Blanc. There's a wonderful one week hike in Switzerland. And he said, like, when you come to Switzerland, visit Liechtenstein. And he said he'll take me out to beers and stuff. But yeah, it's a, it's a rather. I, I won't even say it. But uh, what the, how probably, do you even pronounce it? Probably Liechtenstein. Listen, I'm not a. Uh, I won't even. That's that's good enough. Let's let's. That's let's good go enough. Let's that. leave it at no, that. The, Look, the it looks like really a city block. The, 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 this whole really country is smaller than the city block. Yeah, it's interesting as a sort of tax haven, and that's uh, more that's what it's for, right? Yeah. yeah, it's just uh, they said they have a fucking king there or something. Prince. Sure, yeah, absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, they still go by those because uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, yeah, they have a castle. Wait, I think this is where Bouvet watches are made in that castle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wonderful! What what a what a beautiful beautiful little country here. Uh, yeah. Wow. I did. It, I haven't been. Uh, I've been to Luxembourg, which is probably now. I might be crucified for saying this is probably probably a quite similar uh, vibe, but uh, mm. you know, um, I think it is probably a, a, a pretty nice country. But I don't know. It's it's more of a city state than anything else. Oh, the uh, Liechtenstein. Yeah, Thomas yeah. G. Lichtenstein. Uh, Speedy Hernandez. Austria and Switzerland are two most beautiful places I've ever been to. Right on. So you're from Austria, right? No, I'm I'm Canadian, but uh, I've found my oh. way over here. My girlfriend is Austrian, and uh, how did you find the place? I mean, that's like I moved from from Eastern uh, Europe to United States, and you kind of moved from from kind of United States, you know, Canada. 
to Eastern Europe. What's up with that? Everything, everything you just said is absolutely incorrect. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> where is the street? Is it Eastern Europe? <laughs> hey, where is that's <laughs> where is that's Mickey no when you need him to say this guy doesn't know anything? <laughs> Salzburg is a beautiful city. That's fine. You know what? You know what, Tim? Though you're very right. I mean, uh, for someone uh, who's from uh, Vienna, North yeah. America and um, uh, you have, let's say, a bit of financial security. East, if you want to say true Eastern Europe, uh, is yeah. an absolutely, uh, it, it's a paradise. It is. Um, yeah, you guys sure. still use horse and buggies there, right? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? The funny thing is, I'm uh, I'm deathly allergic uh, to horses, and there actually are way too many horse and buggies uh, prancing yeah. around. The, uh, the, I told the you. Look, look. Yeah. This is this is their street. Yeah, look, look. amazing, amazing city. To, Thanks, thanks a lot, Chris. I go to the Starbucks right across from there, the Hofburg, and I'm sneezing. From here, in this picture day. that I that yep. I just pulled up randomly. Yep. Yeah, that's one of the main. Uh, Shut like, the fucking yeah. door! What? Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah, let's see pretty, where the Starbucks is. Hold on, we're gonna find you in the window, sitting at the. No, Starbucks you're not. Right see, there. it it puts you on a different spot because that's yeah. a, a oh. square. Um, but uh, no. One second. One second. We'll find you. So now you're inside. The oh the fuck! Oh fuck! Street view. Oh, you're all what lost. the hell is happening, Tim? I'll tell you what. If you come to Vienna, I'll I'll, yeah. I'll give you a tour around. No problem. You'll I got a second me... from here. You're welcome. You'll get no me Starbucks. Problem. Which? Okay, where is it? Oh, I didn't me. say that. Come on. You know what I mean. It depends what my reward. Starbucks are on you. Starbucks app. Come on. I'll pay for the airline tickets. You pay for the Starbucks. Well, I don't even know if I can agree to that. I mean, maybe I want this Starbucks <laughs> if I'm giving you a room. Come on, man. No. Hey, <laughs> did you know that Mozart was born in Salzburg, Austria? Salzburg? Salzburg. 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 Yeah, Salzburg. Wow. Let's see it. Right How there, Salzburg. It's right on the map. The oh, left. wait, wait. To the left. left? The left, where it says left Austria eight. to the left, slightly up to the left, and slightly up where it says Austria. The A of Austria. come down, come down, man, come down, left, left, down, 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 other down, left, down. other left, that's the right. No, man, <laughs> where's <laughs> A? Innsburg? Where's A? Just go for Ginsburg, go up to the left. There. Oh, Salzburg. Oh, Salzburg. there we go. You might be the only person more directionally challenged than me, I have to say. <laughs> Oh, he's I never, I never, right. Don't worry listen, about I that. Ne I never had need to look at Austria. I mean, it's like, who are you crazy? Like, Vienna is one of the most gorgeous cities in Europe, man. Yeah, right very Thank historic, you. very historic city. Yeah, yeah. amazing yeah. architecture. It is. Wow. It is. Salzburg was beautiful too. It's a smaller town. Uh, yeah, but definitely worth seeing if you come to Austria for sure. And they have a mini Mozart museum there too. I mean, uh, Tim, I have to say, uh, you're going again to London, to the London Watch yeah. Show, is that correct? Are you going to be there? No, absolutely not. But, you know, the yeah. thing is, uh, uh, I'm not a fan of London, nor nor am I probably of, of that show. But you know what? The thing is, I, I feel like you might gain more viewers just going elsewhere. Uh, in, Did in London? Europe, traveling around. I mean, some of Archie's best videos were, uh, you know, uh, Singapore, Four Floors, uh, you know, oh, yeah. Hong Kong, uh, and, uh, you Amsterdam. Know, maybe, it's, maybe, it's, maybe it's time to venture. Amsterdam would be right. an amazing idea. Absolutely, yeah. Well, London, London Watch Show. It's kind of bread and butter. <clears throat> you know, I'm. I was invited. I could last time. I kind of fucked up. My 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 roommate really pressured me into leaving one day early, so I wasn't able to be kind of there on stage. You know, actually, I wasn't able to spend too much time with other YouTubers. Uh, which was very unfortunate. Oh, one sec, one sec. Let me just end. Sorry about that. Uh, mad man <laughs> member for nine months. Upvote Tim's doing great work. Thank you, Writers Union. So, <laughs> speaking of it, so I, I think. I always have to win, uh, visit the London Watch Show going forward. Always have to. Because my audience, a lot of my audience is there. I want to meet up back with the people, right? It's like 
Archie reuniting back with the four floors. Yeah, right? yeah, I'm gonna be there. That's reason good enough. Sorry, you're but, gonna be there at four floors, uh, T. So, uh, <laughs> say, that, say that again. Sorry, I don't worry about it. <laughs> now, Are you coming to, to the four floors to visit the iconic location? <laughs> I'll tell yeah, you what. Right. I want to go. I I am talking to David right now. He said he can take a day off on Friday. Let me just see the text here. I think he said Friday, uh, the 18th. Okay, that's gonna be oh Vladimir's 32nd birthday. Who the fuck is Vladimir? Oh, that's my enemy from high school. Never mind. Um, enemy, enemy from high school. Enemy, yeah, yeah, is my my like yeah. um. What you call the nemesis. arch enemy? Nemesis. 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 Yeah. My nemesis. His birthday, actually. So fuck him. I'm going to this birthday. I actually, I haven't spoke with that guy. I, anyways, but here's the point. 18. I'm hoping to go to Philly, right? Uh, to do some content from from Philly. You no. Know, uh, up by Romans. I want to stop by Romans uh, office, right? And at the same time, do a bit of Philly content. So, RJW, your, your, your question is like, should you go to other places? Yes, I want to go uh, to Philly and do and do content there. But Tim, for your own self-fulfillment, mm -hmm. I think there are maybe better places than uh, than, than Philadelphia. But that's just... Oh, yeah. But collaboration yeah. with Roman would be a really True. really good rate it would be ratings gold it would be ratings gold. it's all about the leads so the leads. The leads. The leads. The leads. And it's not the lead. free man traveling to non-watch related places there it's hard it's hard i have to pick very lots wisely. lots of watches in vienna man lots of watches maybe let me write it down let's uh look wh whatever the viewers want to go because i i can't go there all by myself so Whatever the view is, if they, they can help me, I'll fucking go anywhere. Okay, guys, thank you for another great, great show. TN Takers, Red Shovel, thank you for a beautiful unboxing of that AP. Send me the pictures. Night Wrist Watchman, RJW, and The Wizard. Guys, great little show tonight. I gotta, I gotta start working on the next script. The script. The script. Russell. Guys, hit that upload button before you leave, and I'll see you all.